Hello, my name is Kim from Control Me Robotics. Today I'm going to teach you how to solder. You will need five items for soldering today. Safety goggles, solder, soldering iron, a fan, and some water. Today we will be using a lead-free solder with rosin core and a soldering iron with variable temperature settings. Not all soldering irons will have variable temperature settings and that's fine. If yours does, a little bit over 400 degrees Celsius is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. We will use a fan unless you are in a very well ventilated area. Soldering is all about heat transfer. To have good heat transfer, it is very important to have a clean and shiny tip. This tip is not clean and shiny, so I'm gonna clean it. It's okay to use the steel wool or to use a moist sponge. That is what our water is for. Throughout soldering, it is important to take a look at it and make sure that it continues to stay clean and shiny. So I have a moist sponge in here and some steel wool. I find that if some stays on and it's difficult to get off, use the steel wool at the end. You can see a big difference. So a lot of people try to transfer. They'll use their soldering iron, heat up the solder, and then transfer it down to the wires. What you wanna do is make sure that el the all elements are heated over here first. So you're gonna to wanna to heat, put as much contact in with the wire, start underneath, heat the wires, give it a couple of seconds to heat it up, and then add the solder to the wire. By heating everything up first and then bringing your solder to the wires, you will prevent the cold solder joints. And just continue. That, my friends, is how you solder. Thank you for watching Kim at Control Me Robotics.